Hello friends! So today we are going to read one of my favorite stories, A Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. But first let's see where the front of the book is. This is the front. So you tap your front. Tap, tap, tap. Great. This is the spine of the book. You can run your finger up and down your spine. Very nice. And this is the back of the book. So you tap your back. Great. Okay. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Let's turn the page. Oh, there's a sun. I see the sun. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. The little egg lay on the leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. Sun looks so happy, I see it smiling. Turn the page. He started to look for some food. Hmm, I wonder what he's gonna find. It says, on Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. He ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Whoa. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That is a lot of things to eat. That night he had a big stomach ache. Uh oh. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much, much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. Ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's turn the page. <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. He was a beautiful butterfly. The and Awesome. I love reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar with you. But for now, it's time for me to go. Goodbye, friends.